Hi hey guys, how's it going? Ah, so I'm mostly set up here now. It's a cold day today. I think it's getting down to zero tonight. So I've brought out my new Leviathan um, OEX sleeping bag. So down one goes down to, I don't know, silly amounts. More than enough for tonight. So I thought it's a good time to try it out. Uh, first time on a camp bed. Can't even remember who this one is, Euro Hike. Can't get the very end bits in, but doesn't really matter. But yeah, it's the first time I've been using it. Everything's very tight on it, that's for sure. But uh gets me off the ground. As you can see, I'm not using the inner in the um, Pomoli tent today. Thought I'd just have a bit of space and a bed. <laughs> Probably fit in the inner anyway. But all I've got to do is set up the stove. I'm using that new Woodsview one. Um, you may have seen in the review video on the review channel. Um, all about all the tent stoves. Um, but yeah, right now I've got both the doors open. That one will get closed off eventually. But uh, yeah, nice little spot. This is a new spot for me. Uh, it's actually where I've talked about maybe building a cabin. This is that spot. It's quite nice and flat. It's quite near the stream, which is just behind the camera over there, really. Um, so I thought I'd see what access is like for the truck and um, try out the spot. Uh, spooked a load of deer coming in. As always, never have the camera on me. <laughs> Whole herd of them ran off that way. So I probably won't see them again uh, on this trip. <laughs> so yes, going to get this stove set up. Alright, so here it is, you can see, completely unburnt this one. Spark arrest. I've also got the chimney off the other pomoli. Um, Apparently there's a way of doing this without kind of straightening up to form it. So I'm going to give that a go. If that doesn't work, some gloves in here as well because they're quite sharp. If that doesn't work, I'll just use the old chimney for this trip and just burn that in at home because you need a really flat surface and two people really to do it properly. But we'll see if this new technique works out. Gonna put on these provided gloves for this because these things are sharp. So apparently, and I don't think this is gonna work, I don't think I'm gonna be doing it anyway. <laughs> You've got the rings on here which hold it all together and it's rolled up lengthways so it's nice and short. However, apparently if you begin to roll it out. like so and you continually move your rings down it goes from the first form to the second form I may have to take the uh, camera off for this <laughs> And here we go. Well, not really. I defaulted to the old one that's already formed. The um, It looked like it was going to work for a minute and then it just all unraveled in the middle. I'll have to re-watch the video where they do it, but I think I'll carry on doing them at home for now. So just get this put in.
got a load of this hardwood offcuts to use. I thought I'll use them in the stove. Put on these racks as well, which uh, they're not going to support a hell of a lot of weight in the soft ground, but you know, they do just fine for resting a bit of wood on a, a pan. Nearly set up. Okay, so that's more or less done now. I'm going to have a fire outside the tent uh, for cooking on and that before I move in and use the stove. So I'm going to walk up to the wood store, which has a few bits in, but I may have to forage some, even though it's quite damp out here. I'll probably find some oak or something. Um, you might be able to see in the background there, I've got new uh, wheels on the truck for those interested in the truck stuff. Got some uh, all terrains all around this time rather than the muds. Not as big as on the old truck, but uh, We'll look at lifts and stuff next year maybe, it's getting expensive. <laughs> right, wood. That's quite a lot of the work done in quite a short amount of time. I suppose it helps I had the wood for the um, burner, so I <laughs> don't have to process that. Whew. Yeah, probably got half hour or so of light left. Starting to see a bit of pink in the sky. All I need is a few twigs and stuff. I could just break down some of that, batten it down. And I'm pretty set. Wait for it to get dark, I'll probably light the fire then. Um, yeah, cook some food. Jobs are good. All of this mud here, where you see the line of the leaves, is where this flooded, this stream flooded a um, day or two ago after all the rain we had. And if I bring you in, you can see where the deer was that I just startled. Here you can see one of them deer prints. You can see it was actually moving at that point. May have just jumped over the bank there. Again, you can see here where it was running. 
I have to put a trail camera back out. I haven't got it with me today, but I'll bring it back down on the next visit. It's always good when you reach that point where you've got your firewood, fire's going, it's well established now, camp's all set up, you know all that's left to do is cook your dinner. <laughs> My um, headlamp, I hadn't charged it so I'm using the little one, the little emergency one I talked about a while ago, it's a Nightcore, I can't remember what it's actually called, tiny little one, I did it on the review channel but it literally no weight at all, it's absolutely tiny and it's pretty bright, it's a good flooder. Oh this is good. Gonna be using a new grill tonight, um, lightweight one um, by Pomoli. So uh, a bit of a Pomoli camp actually. So looking forward to trying that out in a bit. So I'm gonna let this burn down to some coals, maybe have a beer and um, got some poussin and some potatoes and some carrots because that's what I had. <laughs> Getting pretty hungry. Um, I'm going to use my kettle here. Uh, it doesn't matter if it gets a bit dirty. No chopping board. <laughs> So I'm just going to cut these up a bit. And a few slices of carrot too, or chunks. Add a little water. And while I've got some flames, I'll just uh, parboil that lot. I was going to use the tripod because I've got the lamp on it. I thought I may as well get this out as I'm using it anyway. So this is the Pomoli grill. Just 
just unfolds, just like the legs on their stoves. Now you've got these holes, which these slot into, excluding the end. Yeah, so you've got this little bolt, and that should go through the hole. And that'll just be on both ends like that. Right, that's it to go up, just have to screw it in. It's a little fiddly, but it is very light for a grill. And that's why I use this stuff before I review. Wheel over these coals here and get the vegetables parboiling there. Okay, so the veg is pretty much done, so that's going to go in pan with the oil, it's a bit hot, I'm just going to use the knife. <laughs> the gloves are in the truck and I'm being lazy. I do have a spatula with me, I didn't forget it today. So just get them coated nicely. Make a little room. For our Poussin, which is already herbed and spiced up. One of them ready done ones. And I'll put my Dutch oven lid on here. I'll get a bit of a, an oven effect going. I'll just get some of these coals up on the top. This should only take 40 minutes or so. Hasn't been all that long, but I'm going to check it. Oh my god, that's not taking long at all, is it? Oh, the fire's dying down a little bit now, so it's got a bit smoky. <laughs> it's all blown towards me, which is always the way, isn't it? I think our chicken's nearly done. That grill seems to have held up quite well. Yes, I'm drinking Budweiser. It was the only thing that was in the shop. <laughs> this was a little last minute, to be honest. So, that's why I'm just using what I had, really. Come in with the truck and... Tomorrow I'm doing a recce, um, I did a poll on the channel, some of you may have seen it, 
on the community page as to what the next camp should be and um, last I looked it was uh, build a shelter like a one day shelter build so looks like that's what it's going to be but while I'm up here today I may do a little recce and kind of have a think about what I might do. I've got two ideas so we'll see. But uh, that will be coming soon. Might be going to see Owen um, just camping in the um, truck in the uh, roof tent up in uh, Bedford. So I've got that to look forward to. That should be before Christmas. Don't know when you guys are going to see it. Still got to do my Christmas video yet. <laughs> I am hungry though. It's been dark a few hours now and yeah, just uh, looking forward to eating. Time to have a little look I think. Oh yes, look at that. The veg at the front has burnt a little bit but uh, that's looking glorious. That looks pretty good to me. Well, I think I'm just going to go in here, take a leg off. Just eat out of the pan. Ooh. Oh, that is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Let's get one of these roasties. Other than these two burnt things at the front, this is pretty perfect. Oh, nice and caramelised. That was delicious, I must say. <laughs> I ate every last bit. Bones are on the fire at the moment. Get asked a lot about how you clean cast iron. This isn't too bad. There's a few slightly burnt on bits. Usually a scrape with um, wooden spatula gets rid of most things. But what I tend to do, this is not hot. I mean, it's warm, but it's not hot. Don't put cold water in a hot Dutch oven or anything cast iron. So just put some water in it, yeah, a little bit more. I'm going to put that lid back on. I'm just going to put it back over them coals there. And that's just going to steam it away. And then I'll scrape it with the wooden spatula. And then you re-season over the heat with a little bit of oil in there. So there we go. Just take the silicon handle off this grill, taking the weight, it's quite heavy that with the water in and the uh, lid on. We're just going to let that steam away before we re-season it over the heat. That's been going a few minutes now. There we go, nice boil on. And you can see most of that's already come off. I'm just going to give it a gentle scrape before I empty it out.
and that's more or less clean. You can do it multiple times if you need to. That's not actually bad. Now this is dry, I'm just going to give it a little bit of oil. If you've got a rag or a tissue, that'll help just mix it around. dry that It's time to warm this place up. Ah, yeah, warm it up before I get into bed, which I'm all ready for. Got all my wood sorted, hot drink and bed. <laughs> Boy, did it get hot quick in here. Whew. It is freezing outside. Like, literally, I think I think it's zero degrees. But in here, it's actually boiling right now. As I get some coals in the um, stove, I'll be able to dampen it down a little bit. Because there'll be that heat in there. But right now, it is boiling. Got a vent behind me. I should probably open that up. But uh, I think it's going to be cosy tonight. <laughs> I think it's time to have a cup. Of hot chocolate. Well, it's very cosy in here. I kind of got the temperature right by opening up the top a little bit, so there's a bit of a vent up there. Unhooked one of them elastic clips. So I think we're good here. I'll finish this, get in the sleeping bag, let the fire die down, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
morning guys. I slept in quite a lot this morning. <laughs> Didn't get up till like half nine or something. Quite late and I was quite cosy. This sleeping bag is amazing. The way it lofts up. That's the Leviathan, if you was wondering. Got the stove going. I had to get some more wood from the wood store because I used a hell of a lot of this last night. <laughs> I used it a bit in the evening because I was in here for a couple of hours and then um, I stoked it up twice in the night as well. Relit it once as well. <laughs> used fat wood which I just used then which really I wouldn't suggest it in these but it's all I seem to have on me. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty why I slept in so much because I got up twice in the night. But yeah, uh, starting to warm now. It does get so warm in here. Uh, maybe wondering while I'm sat on the floor, that's because I didn't get on without bed. <laughs> the cot bed uh, it's out there right now, chucked it out in the middle of the night. It, um, I don't know, it just wanted you to go to the centre. Uh, probably didn't help that I'm on a slight gradient here, but pff, I just got fed up with it, chucked it out, sleep on the floor as I normally do. <laughs> Gonna try these things, it was very cheap. Right, warm up for a little bit and uh, I'm going to get breakfast on and it's something I cooked very recently in a video. I think I've got them on the mind at the moment, going to do some waffles. <laughs> this is just that same waffle iron I used in my recent video. Nice and easily packable. These handles coming off, so you just have to screw them in. Got that clamp motion. Just gonna set that warm in. And I'll do my mix. Well that sun is shining now. So I've got my flour, baking powder, sugar, salt mix here. Into that an egg. Oh. some milk and I'll just use that bag to mix everything together okay should be interesting Cut off a part of the gusset of the bag. Whoa! It's a lot of mix. By the fire here. Oh, that's not bad at all. Look at that as an even cook. All right, time to get that off, I think. Moment of truth. Oh, yes. A nice warmed syrup. Oh, 
that's a good sugary fix. No bacon today. One nice cuppa. <laughs> it's starting to warm up a little bit now. Or I've warmed up anyway. Still see my breath. <laughs> right, I guess it's time to pack away my mess. Including that bed which I'm probably not going to use again. <laughs> we'll see. I reckon it's pretty better with a foam mat to be honest. It just You just slumped into the middle the way it was with the uh, inflatable. Oh well. Live and learn. So yeah, wait for the stove to cool down, clean away my mess and take down the tent. Bit of a nice camp though, glad I got out. I do like camping in the cold when you've got a nice warm fire and stuff. You really appreciate it. Oh, that's me all set. Hope you enjoyed that one. It was a nice relaxing camp. I don't think the next one's going to be because that's probably going to be my one day shelter build. So that's probably going to be a bit chilly. <laughs> I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.